Welcome to a place that needs no introduction whatsoever. We are at Pinehurst here in North Carolina on our 5,000 mile golf road trip down the East Coast up through the Midwest. We're going to see what this course has to offer, take a look at the pro shop, practice facilities, and we're playing number two today where they're hosting the U.S. Open in 2024 next year. We'll see what we can shoot out there. And at the very end, give it a score. I have a feeling this place is going to be pretty cool. Let's go. Walking down this hallway, we're headed to the pro shop, but you're, you're surrounded by all the history that Pinehurst has. All the U.S. Opens, all the U.S. Women's Opens, all the amateur tournaments, everything that, you know, has been hosted here and you're surrounded by it as you walk through the pro shop, it's pretty cool. When you're thinking about Pinehurst, it's not just a golf course, it's really, you know, a home to so many amazing things that have happened in the game of golf. Um, with the 2024 U.S. Open being hosted here next year, so that's super cool to be playing here before that, but let's head to the golf shop. This, oh wow, this thing, this is pretty cool. So the pro shop has everything you could ever imagine with golf. It's by far the largest pro shop I've ever seen. Hats, gloves, shoes, uh, visors, drink cups, um, anything commemorative that you want. And they even have the new U.S. Open merch for, you know, that's coming next year. So if you're ever here in Pioneers, call up your friends, call up your buddies, get them some merch because, you know, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look around. The practice facilities out here at Pinehurst are second to none. You have an extremely large putting green, a little 18 hole putting course, a nine hole short course called the Cradle. You have a chipping area with a large bunker, a learning center right here, and then a massive range to get everything done you need to get done. Just trying to enjoy the moment out here. You know, it's pretty special to be out here and you know, the practice facilities are pretty awesome. So here at Pinehurst, you have Titleist Tour practice balls. Good solid range ball here. We're hitting off the mats today. They do have a lot of grass open. It's a pretty cool range with you know sand out there, a bunch of targets, a whole backside of the range as well. But let's loosen up it here. We got to uh, make sure we hit the ball well on number two today because it's not an easy golf course. Holding the U.S. Open next year, so. Okay, hole one out here at Pinehurst, number two. They're having the U.S. Open out here next year. And not gonna lie, a little nervous, but we're playing it from 7,000. The uh, pro tees they don't have out this time of the year. So we'll get a good idea of what I can shoot around here, but hole one, just under 400 yards. I got two iron, it's tight. I know we gotta keep it in play. So a lot of trouble out there. Ooh, that's the uh, old nervous swing off the first. So we are at Hindhurst number two here we go we are we're playing with a nice member here so if you see him in the background don't get frazzled uh, super nice guy uh, but shout out to Pinehurst for having us out letting us document our experience here it's been beautiful we've been out here all day played the cradle this morning uh, we're playing number two so looking forward to that super nervous <laughs> swing off the first we found the right garbage but we are okay sit Oh, center of the green to start the day. There we go. Get up there. Have it soak in a little bit. That's a par. All right, hold two here. It's 450-ish yards, pretty straight away. Might curve to the right just slightly. Got driver, be confident here. That's why I use a yellow ball. I cannot see. Okay, that's all we wanted to do. Oh. We are, it's just, it's a struggle today. Like it. Like it. Get up there. Bye. Okay. All right. I'll take the six. Get some course knowledge from Chris over here, but we got hole three, par four, it's like 340 downwind. If we poke it, it'll get there, but let's just focus on getting it in play and loosening up a little bit. That's the main thing here. I mean, it's right at it. I don't know if it's there, but oh my gosh. 
So on the green, yeah, so as you can tell, Donna Ross design, these greens are up on a plateau, and if you miss on any angle whatsoever, it is just gone, and you are putting or chipping up a big hill, so. Stop, wow. There it is. All right, hole four out here is a long par four. Straight away, just a little to the left. These fairways are narrow and not much room. I like it. Maybe not that far right, but just get up. Just not quite enough. Go, go, go. Mm. Didn't trust the line, I had it too. Okay. Okay, hole five, par five. It's about 508. A lot more room to the right here. Oh, in the center. Man, I just get so nervous on these greens, man. They are lightning. So, okay, hole six here is a par three, 208 yards. I got a six iron. I pin his back. If we can get this anywhere on the green, we'll take it. Oh, man. We're just kind of slapping. Oh, sit. Come back. Okay. Hole seven, really big dog leg to the right. I got five wood, just gonna take it right over the bunkers straight away. Easy. Easy, easy. Okay, uh, another boat. Hole eight, par five. Not not a long hole, it's like 470. Oh. Just needed to hit a little harder. Thought that might fall in, but that's not a good hole. So after hole eight, you do have a little snack stand slash bar here. Some food and beverages to, uh, you know, loosen the palate, loosen up a little bit out here on a tough golf course. Could be much needed very shortly. Hole nine, tough par three at Pitt's Tuck. It's like 180, got eight iron. Let's, let's just swing smooth and wherever it goes, I guess, you know? Easy, sit. I mean, I skirted right under that. Just didn't stay up. Okay. All right, that concludes the front nine. Not sure what I shot, wasn't great. I think I made two pars total. It'll be on the screen, but we're on to the back. It's a very tough golf course. Not really out here to put up a great score, but just out here to have some fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the course. Let's get on to the back. Hole 10 is a monstrous par five, 580 down there. Duck hook into the trees. What a way to start the back. All right, well, we found the fairway, just past the front tees. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay. Ooh, there's a spider in there. Almost crapped my pants because I thought I lost the drone, but Chris was clutch. He uh, helped me find that. We're, we're better now, we're not stressed. Hole 11, let's just enjoy it now. Find the drone, you're good to go.
get up there. All right. There we go. Pars on the card. Pars are like birdies out here. Par four, hole 12. Straight away, downwind, got five wood. It's another good one. Let's keep it in play. We're in the back bunker. Oh, popped it up. Got stuck in the ground, actually. I like it. I like it. Get down there. It's going. No, no. Nice. Oh. oh, see? And then it just goes. There we go. All right. All right, we got 13 here. Cool hole, some elevation up by the green. Got five wood. Well, dog like to the right. Just take it down the center. Felt good. Oh my gosh. All right, that's a par. Take a look at this false edge. That's what we were battling on this hole. Hole 14, par four, straight down the hill, downwind. It's like 450, but I got five wood. That really has to go, it was heavy. Go. Okay. Wow, I hit it too hard. Just hit it too hard. I think it was the line. I just have to remember how fast these greens actually are. Okay, we got pole 15. If you get a if you get a two on Pinehurst number two, you go to the shop and get a commemorative coin. I want that coin. Nope. Oh. Gosh darn. It's tough around here, huh? Hole 16, par five. Start down the left side. You have bunkers on the left. Kind of curves down to, to the left and back up. Beautiful looking hole. Okay, found the front left of the green. There we go. We got cart path review now, mostly sand at here at Pinehurst number two. And it's pretty smooth. Yeah, very smooth. A couple roots here and there. You know, even though it's sand, I'm not going to dock it for sand. But right, it's still I'm, just about like smoothness. Yeah, smoothness. But very solid for a sand path. A2, A2. Yeah, I was going to give it like an A4. I really like that, you know, I just feel like it keeps the whole experience of the Pinehurst. Like, Usually, it would be different if it was a paved path. Like, yeah. it would feel different. Okay, now it is time to give Pinehurst number two a score based on the categories that I came up with. The first category being playability. Now, could golfers of different skill levels come out here and play Pinehurst number two and have a good time? One, I do think they could have a good time. Two, I think it's gonna be very challenging just because the Donald Ross design, a lot of 
really deep bunkers, turtleback greens and everything. Um, you know, you're not gonna really be able to play well out here, but I think you're gonna have a good time. Playability is gonna get a seven out of 10. Next is design, is the Donald Ross Masterpiece design. You have classic Donald Ross design, uh, turtleback greens, windy fairways, a lot of native area out there. 10 out of 10 design, it blows it out of the water. I mean, he, he did a great job here. Next is accessibility. You know, what does it take to come out and play Piners number two? It is a semi-private golf course, being that you do need to stay at the resort on property to be able to play it. They do offer some packages that I'll get into later. Uh, you can't just call and make a tee time. For courses two, four, six, seven, and nine, you do have to stay on property. Uh, given that, the accessibility is gonna be a seven out of 10. Next is the practice facility, and I'm standing in front of probably the largest putting green I've ever seen in my entire life. Also, they have a nine hole cradle course right here. They have a huge range, chipping area, uh, learning center, you know, everything you could possibly need for a practice facility, 10 out of 10 for sure. So the Pro Shop has everything you could ever imagine with golf. It's by far the largest Pro Shop I've ever seen. Hats, gloves, shoes, uh, visors, drink cups. Next is location. We are located in Pinehurst, North Carolina, and there's tons of golf around here. Prime location, a nice little downtown area. 10 out of 10 for location, plenty of stuff to do other than golf as well. Next is condition. Uh, I'm playing it mid-May, so I'm gonna base it off that. The greens were flawless, rolling at a 12 or 13, by far the fastest greens I've played in a long time around the greens cut perfectly. A couple brown spots out there here and there, but you know, given everything it has to offer, you know, condition's gonna be a nine out of 10. The next is accommodations. Uh, what does Pinehurst have to offer? And this is the ultimate golf resort. You can stay on property. A couple different places you can stay. Also, they do have stay and play packages. It's two nights, three rounds of golf called the Donna Ross package. Anywhere from $1,200 to $1,800, $1,900, depending on what time of the year you play. You get to play courses two, four, and I believe number eight. So that's a very good deal. Um, 10 out of 10 for accommodations. The fact that you get to be surrounded by all this as well is amazing. Next is the food, uh, that you have a bunch of different options here. You have the Deuce, where we ate for lunch. You see a picture of the burger that we had, it was really good. They also have a little station up there um, for food and drinks on the cradle. And then on number two, on uh, Piner's number two, the course we played, there is a halfway house with some options as well. 10 out of 10 for food. Also the Carolina Hotel has a fancy place you can go. So the food was great, 10 out of 10. Final category is value, the most important category. And you know, you're gonna pay about 450 bucks to come out and play Piner's number two if you don't do one of those packages that I mentioned. Um, it is a hefty margin, it's a lot of money, but you know, you get what you're paying for. You're getting access to amazing facilities, the some of the best in the country, really, and then an amazing golf course with a ton of history where pros play, amateurs have played, they hold majors here. So I think that, you know, you're getting what you're paying for. It's an amazing facility. The pro shop is amazing. Uh, everything about it, honestly, is great. So 10 out of 10 value. I know it's expensive, but again, it's Pinehurst, so. So Pinehurst, number two, since that was the course we played, I'm gonna rate that. It gets a 93 out of 100. It places here among courses in a 200 plus price range, and then also here among courses that I've played thus far on this trip. Make sure to subscribe along because you know, we're on this 5,000 mile road trip down the East Coast up to the Midwest. This is our second stop here in the Pinehurst area. We're playing a couple more, and we're headed to Myrtle Beach, so make sure to subscribe to follow along. And I'll see you guys in the next one.